Let's get back onto the water for another segment of Fishing Tips. This week, Ray and Mandy talk about selecting the proper line. Tonight we're going to talk a little bit about what kind of a line should you select for the kind of fishing you're doing. And there's uh, so many things on the market today, it's really can be a very confusing about what to select. And we're going to start out with the heavier stuff to begin with. If you're a person that likes to troll deep water and you're not really into pulling bottom bouncers and heavy weights, the line that we would recommend is a lead core product. And this, this is actually fishing line with lead in it, but you can see that you, it's still very easily maneuvered so you can tie knots with it. And you learn over time how far to let that back. And let's say you're pulling crankbaits, you can decide from experience how far back to let it go to determine how deep you want to be fishing. Next one we're going to talk about is braid. Braid obviously is highly visible. It's extremely abrasion resistant, so it's awesome uh, if you're throwing cranks or anything that's around wood or rocks, you don't have to worry about it cutting your line. Um, it, you can cast very well with this. Me personally, uh, I use this on almost all of my bait casting rods. Um, it's great in murkier waters, but in clear water, you're probably going to want to tie on a fluorocarbon lead. The monofilament line, it's been around for since the late 60s, probably early 70s. And monofilament comes in everything from two pound test all the way up quite a bit into the probably 30 and 40 pound test if you want to get into something that heavy. If you're a pan fisherman, if you're fishing for crappies or sunnies, we'd recommend that you go with a monofilament line. It's very light, it's very hard to see. You can put small little baits on it and you can feel the bite. And if you've got bobbers, you can see the bobber go down quickly with this kind of line. So, and it's also probably the most inexpensive line on the market today. We're gonna to go to the opposite end of the spectrum, uh, and I have fluorocarbon. It's probably the most expensive line that there is on the market. Um, unlike mono that has a bit of stretch in it, there is no stretch with this line. It's abrasion resistant, it's, um, it's extremely sensitive, it can detect light bites also. Uh, it, it's great for any kind of fishing, especially in clear water, but you can use it for any species, but there again, it is on the top end of the, of the price list. So there you go, four basic fishing lines to look at when you're selecting what you want to fish for and how much money you want to spend. I'm Ray Gildaw with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Yerk, Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.